So if there's one question that pops up time and time again in the comments section on YouTube is how do you create sticky headers with Elementor Pro? Well, you can do it and out of the box, it's really quite basic. It's a case of it's either switched on or it's switched off. So this is an example. You can see it's literally just there on screen, it doesn't resize or anything else. So in this video, I want to show you a completely free plugin that allows you to expand what Elementor Pro can do with the sticky headers. So let's take a look at that now. I'm Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. So what exactly is this plugin? Well, it's called Sticky Header Effects for Elementor and it's completely free. I'll put a link in the description to this so you can go and grab yourself a copy. It's easy to find. Once you've installed it, you're going to get some additional options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, first of all, exactly what you see inside the dashboard. So when you come in, this is without the plugin installed. If we go to the advanced section, you can see we've got scrolling effect and we've got sticky as an option. That's all you get out of the box with Elementor Pro. So let's just jump out of this, exit to our dashboard. Let's activate that plugin so we can see what other tools we get. So I've already installed it, just need to go and activate it. Now this is independent of any theme that you choose. Now I use OceanWP, which has its own sticky header plugin. You don't need to use that. You can use this with any theme and then benefit from the extra tools you've got. Okay, so we've added that in now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in to my templates for my header, and I'm gonna come back in and edit with Elemental. Once I've done that, it's going to go to the Elementor Editor in there, and it's going to select the menu section at the top. Now, ignore anything else that's underneath it. This is all just being shown up as part of the template. The only thing we're interested in in this example is this section at the top for our logo and our left-right navigation. So the navigation section is selected. If we come over to the Advanced tab, you'll see we still have the scrolling effect option there, the sticky which is part of Elementor Pro. But if we come down now, you see we've got sticky head effects, which is the new plugin we just added in. So if you've got the scrolling effect set up and you've activated the sticky option, I'd recommend disabling that. It will work alongside the sticky header effects, but you may find you get some kind of weird quirky effects. So if we jump down to sticky header effects, you can see we've got one simple option, enable or disable. So let's enable that and that'll open up all the options. And this kind of overrides the scrolling effect. You can see we've got the enable on desktop, tablet and mobile. So you can specify exactly what type of device will see this scrolling effect. So if you want to disable this on tablet or mobile, you can easily do that just by clicking the little X to remove those from the list. So next up, you've got the scroll distance. And basically what this does is it says, before you actually scroll down to that many pixels, nothing will happen to the header. Once you go past that, it'll then scroll up and shrink whatever effect you set on there. So you can adjust this to any kind of figure that you want. You can also adjust this based upon the device you're viewing it on. So if you are using the enable on desktop, tablet, and mobile, you can set different values for each one of those devices, which is pretty cool. You then got the sticky header option, which you can see if we enable that, like I have you, it tells you to please disable the Elemental Pro sticky setting. So again, it gives you a little prompt to say if you've got that one enabled, you may run into problems, so please disable it. You then got a header background, which you can then go through and you can choose any kind of color you want. You can enable or disable this if you want to. You can also use this then to create transparent headers. So if you wanted to create a header that was not wholly white, you want it to be sort of half white, half transparent, you can easily do that in this setting here. So that's pretty cool. You can create your own sort of scrollable transparent headers if you want to. You've then got the bottom border color, which is great if you've got the kind of uh, should we say header that kind of could easily be lost in the background you can easily put in a bottom border apply a different color apply a width to that and again you can enable or disable this to exactly get it exactly to work within the theme that you're designing next up and finally we have the shrink and the height options the shrink will do as its name suggests when it scrolls up it'll actually shrink the header down and then you can control the height of that and again we have the option for different height values based upon different devices so again you've got the desktop tablet and mobile so that's all there is but what it does give you is a great way of being able to create more interactive more user-friendly sticky headers all directly inside elemental pro so let's just update this with the changes i've made 
Let's just jump back onto our test page and refresh this, and you find it looks exactly the same as it did with the normal straightforward default out of the box uh, Elementor Pro setup. But now when we scroll up, you can see it shrinks down. We also get a little underline in there, so it separates it from the white background and makes sure that you don't have the, the heading, the, the sort of navigation block at the top getting lost inside the actual design itself. And if I wanted to make it transparent, I could easily do that. So let's come back in, let's come down and just choose the background color. Let's make that semi-transparent. We'll just update that again. Reload the page. And as we reload the page, you can see now we can see through the header and we've made it partially transparent. Very quick and easy. All works exactly as you expect it to. And that's all there is to it. It's a very simple, very sort of stripped out plugin. There is a pro version due to come out in the future, which would be interesting to see what they can bring to the table with that. But I think for a free plugin that expands upon what's a pretty sparse setup that you have inside Elemental Pro, it's a great addition to your toolbox. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we add new content to the channel. If you'd like to support us, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It costs you no more money for any of the plugins or themes that you purchase through those links, but it does give a small percentage back to the channel and help support what we do and help us create more content for you. Well, as always, I'd love to get a conversation going, so put your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this option. If you found something better, pop that in there, put some links in. Let's share the knowledge, let's share the love. And until next time, take care.